Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because we are doing a tutorial for the Call Me By Your Name Elio inspired bracelets. So in the movie Call Me By Your Name, the main character Elio, he wears these bracelets on his wrist and we're gonna make them today. So yeah. I've actually gotten quite a handful of requests to do this bracelet and I got one recently a couple like a week or so ago and I looked it up and was just like bro this is literally just a chevron with like a tiny bit of a twist on it like it's so easy to make so that's what we're making today so here is what the bracelets look like it's just a chevron with this little diamond in the middle it's really really easy before making the bracelet I had never seen the movie and I tried to watch the movie like as I was making these bracelets and I got through about 20 minutes and then had to stop because it's just an awful movie i'm sorry <laughs> we can debate that in the comments below i'll show you my speech and then you can give me your speech on it on if it's a good movie or not and we can talk about it <laughs> but nonetheless it's still a cute bracelet so we're gonna make it today this bracelet's beginner so if you've made a chevron before this will be even easier for you if you've never made a bracelet before this should be a pretty simple one for you to make i show you how to make exactly these bracelets in this video with these exact colors so you're going to want to follow the colors exactly the way that i do it in order to achieve this exact look also i've been getting some comments of people being like your quality sucks like can you make your videos better quality and um yeah i can <laughs> so this video should be better quality i'm slacking i'm slacking i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry let's just get into this video ah and they fell behind my bed they're gonna stay down there forever. I'm not even joking. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to mention that there is not a pattern for this bracelet. Um, I just saw an image online and then was able to make the design based off of the image. So I went ahead and just created this pattern. This is just the diamond of the pattern. And so we can see here, um, this is the white chevron that you want to start the diamond at and we can see in the bracelet there's that white chevron and then there's the diamond. Um, so this, if you're wanting a pattern just for the diamond part, this is the pattern for the diamond part. If you want to do this for the gray bracelet, here is what the pattern looks like for the gray and black and white bracelet. So we can see here this is the black chevron you're going to start the diamond at. And then on the bracelet here is the black chevron and then it starts the diamond with the black on the outside so um if you're just wanting patterns then there are those two patterns you can go ahead and just screenshot those so yeah i'm also going to go ahead and submit this bracelet pattern to bracelet book i don't know if they're going to accept it but this is also just if you're wanting to make this design um with other colors besides elio's colors you can um still make this design just using different colors like that has like the string set up and all that kind of stuff um, if you want to do different colors. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and submit that. Alrighty, so to make this bracelet, you are obviously going to need embroidery floss. And since we're making Elio's bracelets, we're going to need some specific colors. So the first bracelet is going to be white, red, and black. And then the second bracelet he wears is going to be black, white, and then gray. I'm going to make the red one in this video, but I'm still going to show you how to cut the strings for the gray bracelet. So for the white, black, and red bracelet, you're going to start by cutting two strings that are a wingspan's length of your black thread. And then just cut one string that's a wingspan's length of your red string. And then one more string that's a wingspan's length of your white. So you should have four strings in total, two black, one red, and one white. And once you have all these strings cut, go ahead and just fold your strings in half so that the two ends meet on one end and that at the other end there is a loop. From here, you can start this bracelet however you want. I have more in-depth videos on how to do this in the movie. Elio just kind of has them like tied around his wrist, so that's what I'm just going to do, but yeah. All right, now we're going to cut the strings for the gray, white, and black bracelet. Start by cutting two strands at a wingspan's length of your white thread, and then you're going to cut one string at a wingspan's length of your gray thread. And then lastly, just cut one more string at a wingspan's length of your black thread. So in total, you should have four strings, two whites, one gray, and one black. And it's the same deal here. Just go ahead and fold all your strings in half, and then go ahead and just start this bracelet however you prefer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start both these bracelets, and then we'll get into setting up the strings for both of them. 
All right, I'm gonna start with the red and black one. So once your bracelet is started and taped down, this is how your strings should be set up. It goes black, red, black, white, white, black, red, black. So it's just like a chevron and the strings are mirrored and they repeat themselves on both sides. <laughs> So this is basically just a chevron bracelet, so if you've made one before, this will be easier for you. But to start this bracelet, I'm only going to focus on one half of my bracelet. So I'm going to go ahead and split it in the middle and then section off my string so that the right four strings are off to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and go on my left side and start with my very outer string, which is this black string. And I'm going to do a forward knot, so I'm going to create this four shape over my second string in line. And I'm going to pull the tail through and then all the way to the top. I'm going to do it twice, just like so. Now my black and red strings have switched places, so now the red string is on the outside. But I'm going to take my same black string that I just did my knots with, and I'm going to keep doing these forward knots until I get to the center of my bracelet, which is going to be the white string. Once you have done your three black knots, your black string should be in the middle of your bracelet now and all the other strings should be to the right of it. So now we have done the right half of our bracelet, so we're going to go ahead and now go to the other side and do the left half. So it's going to be the same kind of process as before. I'm going to start with my outer string this time again, but I'm going to do a backward knot this time, which means I'm just going to do a backwards four shape, but it's still the same thing. I'm going to pull the string through and then pull it all the way to the top. And make sure that you're doing it twice every time. And again, your red and black strings have switched places. So just take your same black string though and then just keep going down your line of strings until you get to the center of your bracelet. Once you've done your three black knots on the right side and all your other strings are to the right of your black string in the middle, you can go ahead and just do any knot that you want for the two strings in the middle because they are the same color so it doesn't really matter what knot you do. I just did a forward knot. Sick. So that's basically how you make the chevron part of this bracelet. Elio's bracelet is just a chevron with like a little diamond in the middle of the bracelet. So I'm going to just keep doing this chevron pattern until I get about halfway through my bracelet. And yeah, here I am just showing you guys to like continue doing the chevron row by row. Each row will be a different color. You get the idea. It's a chevron. It's a vibe. We're having fun. All right guys, so now it's time to make the diamond part of this bracelet. So you can see here that I did the chevron. I did quite a few rows um, until I got around halfway-ish through my bracelet. This next part is very important. When you are going to make the diamond, you're gonna wanna start making the diamond when your last row that you did for your chevron is white. So the last full chevron row I did is white, so I can start making the diamond. So to start this diamond part, go ahead and you're just going to take your outer two strings on the left side and you're going to do a forward knot, just like so, and then your red and your black strings are going to switch places and you're going to take your next string in line and you're going to do another forward knot. And then you're gonna stop right there and you're gonna go to your left side of the bracelet and you're going to take your outer two strings and do the same thing, but this time it's gonna be a backwards knot and you're gonna do that. And then your red and your black strings are going to switch places. And then you're gonna take your black string and then your next string in line and you're gonna do another backward knot. So you're not doing three knots and going all the way through, you're just doing two knots on either side of the bracelet with your black string it's a lot of words, I'm sorry. After that's done, we're gonna go back to the right side of our bracelet and we're taking our red outer string and I'm gonna just do one forward knot on this side. Now 
Then I'm going to go to the right side of my bracelet and do a backward knot with my red string this time. Just one though, so last time we did two knots, this time we're just doing one knot on either side of the bracelet. Now we're going to go to the middle of our bracelet this time and we're going to take our white string. So I'm going to count like one, two, three strings in, grab my white string, and I'm going to grab all the strings that are to the left of it and I'm going to do backward knots till I get to the very end of my row of strings, if that makes any type of sense. I think it's better just to see what I'm doing. I'm taking my white strings from the middle and I'm doing backward knots all the way out to the end of my row of strings. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So then once that's done, I'm gonna do the same thing with my other white string in the middle on the right side and I'm gonna do forward knots this time with my white string until I get down my line of strings to like the outside of the bracelet. I don't know how to describe this. Y'all can see what I'm doing though, so right? It's a, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Once you have this like X shape with your white thread, I'm gonna go back to the middle of my bracelet again and your string should be black. I'm gonna go ahead and just join those two strings. I'm doing a forward knot here. You can do any knot that you would like. And I'm gonna start with my black string that's on the left. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with my white strings. I'm going to do backward knots just on the next two strings in line with my black string. So I'm gonna be knotting my middle black string over just the next two strings in line. I'm not going to knot my black string over my white string. Okay, there we go. After that, I'm gonna go back to the middle of my bracelet again and get the right black string that's in the middle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna be doing forward knots this time and I'm just going to be doing forward knots over the next two strings in line. Do not do knots over the outer white string. I'm going really fast here, wow. I'm like speedy, speedy fingers with my knots. <laughs> So after you've done the black, go ahead and go, we're gonna go back to the middle of our bracelet again. Your strings should be red, and we're just going to be joining these strings. Um, I'm doing a forward knot here. You can do any knot you would like. This step is very simple. Just connect the red. After you've connected the red, I'm gonna count one, two strings in, and so my second black string in line, I'm just going to be doing a forward knot over the red string right there, just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take my second black string. I'm gonna count one, two strings in from the outside. And that second black string there, I'm gonna be doing a, what is that, a backward knot? Yep. Yep, that, that's right. And then once that's done, your black string should be in the middle and you can go ahead and join those two. I'm using a forward knot and you can see now that we've created this black diamond shape. That was kind of fast, I'm sorry. It's kind of easy. All right, and then we're going fast already. So now I'm gonna go back to my left side and my outer string, which is this white string, and I'm gonna just be doing forward knots all the way down my line of strings. So we're basically back to that normal chevron pattern now. So we're just doing forward knots all the way down on the left side until we get to the middle. And then when we go to the right side, I'm taking my outer white string, but I'm gonna do backward knots all the way down my line of strings until I get to the center. And then once your white strings have met in the middle, you can go ahead and do whatever knot you would like to join them. I believe I'm just doing a forward knot. That's kind of my default is just a forward knot, but yeah. So that's kind of this triangle design of Elio's bracelet. So from here, you're just gonna keep doing the chevron rows like you normally would, just until your bracelet's long enough. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through the string setup for the gray, white, and black bracelet. So this bracelet's gonna be black, white, gray, white, white, gray, white, black. 
And you're gonna make this the exact same way as the other one. So I did a couple rows of my uh, chevron for the gray bracelet. Um, but when you wanna start doing the diamond, you're gonna stop when the last full chevron row you did is black. And then from the black row, you're gonna just do the diamond like you did exactly for the red one, but now your strings are just different colors, but it's the exact same steps and the exact same process. I'm gonna just show you guys a little time lapse of me doing it. And then of course, after you do the diamond for the gray bracelet, just keep making your chevron rows until the bracelet is long enough. And here are the two completed bracelets in all their glory. I love how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alrighty guys, so that was this tutorial. I hope you guys like this and you made some really cute bracelets out of it. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.